Well, following the success of many craft brewers here in Minnesota, we are seeing more distilleries pop up around the state. One of the newest, Ida Graves, is located in Alexandria, focused on handcrafted spirits in small batches. Brock Berglin and Anna Wilson are the owners. And we're so happy that you guys are here to join us. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. you're just getting this out on the shelves. So tell us a little bit about how you got started and how this came to, to be. Yeah, so um, we started about a year and a half ago. Um, Brock has been a home brewer for a really long time and we were thinking about what could we do um, to really contribute to the spirits market and do something that we really enjoyed and had a passion for. So that's came about Ida Graves. Yeah, so you were yeah. brewing before Brock and then this is a whole, new, a whole new area to get into, but do you enjoy distilling as much as you do brewing? Is it kind of a natural fit? Oh, absolutely. Um, I was a home brewer for several years before becoming a distiller and uh, to be honest, I think I'm much better at distilling than home brewing. Yeah. That's good. Well, it looks wonderful. Tell us a little bit about the what makes your Ida Graves uh, recipes, if you will, special. What, it, what is it that you guys do that kind of will set yourselves apart? So we make everything in um, very small batches, single mm -hmm. batches. Uh, our, we try to make everything as local and uh, locally sourced and uh, organic as possible. So mm -hmm. our gin is organic. Our vodka is made from uh, raw honey that's sourced in Minnesota mm -hmm. from a Minnesota farm. And uh, I think what makes our like philosophy um, with Ida Graves uh, is that we like simplicity. We, you know, we try to keep thing, everything as simple as possible. So our, our gin only has five botanicals and our vodka is just, you know, uh, honey. And then we only distill it twice to keep some of that rich, smooth flavor profile mm -hmm. in that vodka. Well, we can't wait to try it. Show us, first of all, if you will, Brock, the mojito. So tell us Great. how you're going to yeah. put this together. Yeah, so the first cocktail is a mojito. Uh, it's a classic summer cocktail, and we're doing a little bit of a different twist on it. Uh, instead of adding rum, we're going to add our Ida Graves vodka because, I, like I said, it has a nice, smooth uh, flavor to it, and it mixes well in any classic vodka cocktail and uh, any classic summer cocktail. So to make the mojito, uh, what you do is you start by adding six to eight uh, mint leaves to the bottom of your mixing tin, and then add about half an ounce of simple syrup, two parts sugar, one part water to the simple syrup. And you add that in as well. And then you muddle. And if you don't like muddling, or if you uh, wanna make this for a large group of people, uh, one thing that you can do is actually infuse the mint leaves in the vodka the night before, and it should have a similar effect. So when you're done muddling, you add three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, okay. fresh squeezed, yeah. and two ounces of Ida Graves vodka. Spill so a little bit. Ingredients simple, recipe simple too. This is pretty mm -hmm. easy. Okay, mm -hmm. we only mm -hmm. have a minute. Show us yep. the other drink if you Absolutely. will. Absolutely. So this is a gin gimlet. Okay. Um, our gin, like Brock said, has um, just five simple botanicals and it really highlights the rosemary and lemon. So it's great with all classic gin cocktails. Um, just start with two ounces of Ida Graves gin, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. It's always best if it's um, fresh squeezed. Okay. It smells amazing. This is a real summer drink, you can yes. tell. Mm -hmm. It just smells so good. Then okay. just a little bit of simple syrup. Okay. Then add just a tiny bit of ice. Oof. And I'll also add ice to mine. We can shake together. The fun part. Yeah, the fun yeah. part, the shake. <laughs> Don't be afraid to do a little dance. <laughs> we need Yam House back yeah. in here for yes. a little soundtrack. Um, so I'm just go ahead and pour. Oh, it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, mojito, I like to pour over a sif so yep. that the mint leaves don't get in it. Like to try a little oh, bit. I'd love to try it. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. It really does. It looks amazing, smells amazing, and we love supporting Minnesota companies. So yes. congratulations. Tell us real quick before we go, where can we buy this? So you can um, find us at Midway Liquors in St. Paul, Stinson Wine Beer and Spirits in Northeast, um, A Spirits in Hopkins, and we're at Downtown and Plaza Liquors in Alexandria. Well, we'll look for it. Thanks again for coming in. Yeah. We appreciate it very Thank much. You so much. And we have a list of those locations where you can find Ida Graves, both the cocktail recipes and a link on care11.com. We'll be right back.